Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this great looking three dimensional folding phone with a screenshot directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go to File New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. The shape of my phone is going to be a rectangle with rounded corners. So we'll click on this and then click on the slide to add it. And if we right click and choose Format Shape, I'm going to adjust the size. And I actually want this to be 11 high by 12 wide. And you can make it any size you want, but it's important to be consistent with the sizing as we go through when it comes to the adding the image onto the phone. So if I click on this little yellow dot and drag, I'm going to adjust it until I've got the right sort of rounded corners for my phone. And I think that's perfect. I'll now align it to the center. And as we want two parts, I'm going to click on the slide and press Ctrl D. So one slide will be the left hand side and one slide will be the right hand side and then we can copy them both onto the same slide. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to click on rectangle. I'm going to exactly cover this half. Then I'm going to make sure the first thing I click on is the phone shape and the second is the cover. Then I'll go to shape format, merge shapes and choose intersect. And there's our right hand side of the phone. And on this one, we're going to get our left hand side one. So we'll draw our rectangle exactly over the left hand side. Then we'll click on the phone shape first, the rectangle second, go to shape format, merge shapes and choose intersect. There's the left hand side of our phone. Now we can press control X and control V. And now we've got two sides of the phone. And now let's get the photo in there. So for this, you can grab any screenshot you like. I've just taken one from a website. And the important thing to do with this is go to picture format, crop, choose aspect ratio square, and choose 12 by 12. This will mean it will fit perfectly in the phone. So now we can just click copy, and that will copy it to the clipboard. We can now go to our phone. I'll select the left part. And if I do picture or texture fill, there's an option to choose clipboard, and that will add it straight in. But you can see what it's done there. By default, it squashes it all into the half, where we don't want that. So if we click Tile Picture as Texture, the alignment defaults to top left, scale X and Y should be 100 because we've made it the right size already. And you can see that's looking good. We'll just do the right side now. Again, Picture or Texture Fill, it puts it in already because we've just chosen it on the previous side. But here, we'll change alignment to top right. Looking good. It's just about time to add the animation. But before we do that, there's a really important part that we have to do so it will animate correctly. Because these are halves here, I will just draw a rectangle where that is the rotation point. When we convert it to 3D, that PowerPoint will use. And we actually want it to be here. And I'm going to show you a clever way of doing this. So we'll just add a rectangle. I'm going to go to the size and I'm going to type in 11 and I want this to be half the width just to cover one side so I'll type 6. That's exactly the right size now. I'm going to snap it to the right place and then I'm going to shift click to select the left and control G to group. Now we have a side that will rotate from the right place and we'll just move it out of the way and do the other one. So we'll just draw another box in 11 high, 6 wide snap it to the right place, select both and control G. Now we don't want to see these blue boxes. They're just there so that the 3D will rotate in the correct place. So if you click on the group once and then you click the blue box, we can now go in and make sure that the shape fill is no fill and the shape outline is no outline. And we'll also do this on the other side. Now we'll hold down shift and move this back up to snap. And now we're ready to add the 3D. So if we right click on this and choose Format Picture, we can go to 3D Rotation. And we're going to choose a preset, and it's going to be this one down in perspective called Turned Right, Tilted Up. So that's partly correct. We just don't want any Y or Z rotation, so I'm going to turn those to zero. 
excellent. Now we'll go to 3D format and we'll give it some depth and we'll give it a bottom bevel of six, which is the default. I've just seen that this has got a blue outline on it, but that's quite a nice effect. But if you just want the actual image to bleed through on the side of the phone, we can click, click a second time and choose shape outline, no outline. We'll do this on the other side as well. So I'm now gonna make the other side with the same settings, but just the reverse perspective. So we'll click on it, we'll go to 3D rotation, we'll choose perspective turned left, tilted up. Again, we'll set Y and Z to zero. And then we'll set depth to 10. And then we'll set bottom bevel to the round option. And it just adds a six. Excellent. So here's our base 3D folding phone. Now we can add any animation we like. And in this example, I'm just gonna add an opening and closing animation, of the whole thing, and then one side, just like I did in the intro. So I'm just gonna duplicate this slide, and then I'll show you how that works. So we'll click on the slide, press Control D. I can now go to the rotation and change this to anything. So if I wanted it to open, I'd press zero degrees. And then the important bit, we'll go to transitions and make sure morphs turned on. And you can see that working straight away. I also like to take the duration down to one to make it a bit snappier. Now we can just control D to add another slide. We can select the left side of the phone and then we can make X rotation zero. And now if we play from the start, you can see it will open one side and then the other side. And now we'll close it. So we'll control D. And then when we go to the X rotation, if I just keep clicking this, you'll see it close. I can stop it anywhere I like, but I'm going to go completely closed on this one. Control D again. And now I'll go completely closed on this side. So the right hand side will close and then the left. Looking good. Just going to do one final open and close. So I'll set this to zero. And then I can actually just duplicate the closed one. So let's have a look from the start. Excellent. There we go, really like that. A way of using 3D with simple shapes to get a really powerful effect directly in PowerPoint. And just as a bonus, I'll show you how you can easily change the image on this without having to recreate all the three dimensional shapes as we did earlier. So we'll just start from our flat slide. I'm going to paste in an image I captured earlier from the Microsoft site. We need to crop this to a square. So I'll go aspect ratio one to one. Align it to where I want it. Now make it 12 by 12. And press copy. Now we can go back to our phone that's already split into two parts and has 3D applied to it. So I find the easiest way of working with this is just to drag one of them down to make sure you're always selecting the right one. It makes it easier because otherwise there's things on top of each other. So on the left, we'll click once and we'll click again and then we'll go to fill. Then we'll go to clipboard. And again, we need to click tile picture as texture because it resets every time you load in another one. It's looking good. And then we'll click on the right hand side and click again and then we'll go to clipboard and then we'll go to tile picture as texture and now we'll just drag it up and i've pressed ctrl d to duplicate the slide and now i'm just going to add the animation duplicate the very first slide. So now it will just start open, shut and then open again. There we go. I think these look great. And I hope you enjoy making your own 3D rotating shapes with images on directly in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.